the, the future of the epidemic, um, I, I think to answer that question, you have to pretty much separate what are we doing here right now because we have the resources to right now at least try to end the epidemic. And that's happening in San Francisco uh, where the I issue is finding as many people that are infected as possible, getting them into care and getting their virus suppressed and keeping it suppressed. If we can do that, if we can do that for the vast majority of infected people in San Francisco, we'll stop the epidemic. The challenge of doing that in resource limited settings is the resource issue. Um, the, the biology is the same. The approach to attacking the epidemic is the same. But we really need a lot of resources. Um, if, if we want to expand to treat every infected person in Africa and other parts of the world where this is still a, a raging epidemic, we're going to need to spend a lot more money than we are now. Or we're going to have to find a lot better ways to deliver the treatments than we now have. So looking for more money, looking for ways to increase the efficiency of, of treatment, those are going to be um, partner issues as we go forward internationally. There's been, I think, an encouraging development uh, that we heard from the UNAIDS director recently that countries like India, like China, have made commitments to treat their own epidemics. So these aren't rich countries, they're middle income countries, uh, but countries like those, Brazil, I, I think can step to the plate and do that. Uh, the challenge will be to get them to the point where they feel not only comfortable enough to take care of their own epidemics, but maybe take care of one of the neighboring countries or two uh, to begin to spread this, uh, this burden around. Uh, but I think it, it has, we have to try it. Now the, ultimately, this epidemic requires a vaccine. Uh, I think there's no doubt that um, treatment is going to be important, um, but we need a vaccine. And there's, there's no way around the, the, the ongoing challenge of delivering comprehensive HIV care to tens of millions of people paid for by the rich countries. I don't think that's gonna, uh, that's, that, that's not probably gonna happen.